Lauren Seidel Baker, and thank you for joining me for this episode of ITR Economics Trends Talk. I wanted to talk to you today about some positive problems in the world of business. Now, that term might sound a little bit like an oxymoron, like a known unknown or a confirmed rumor, but it's true, there are actually good problems out there. And one that many firms are experiencing right now is that of too much demand. Now, I sincerely hope that you listened to ITR back in 2020 when we were talking about this recovery and the coming demand surge. And I hope that you have all of the capacity you need today to meet that demand. But on the off chance you don't, you certainly aren't alone. Many firms are, are overwhelmed by order intake right now. Um, it, it isn't just that there is a global macroeconomic recovery that is, is fueling this demand, but a lot of companies are rebuilding depleted inventories, things that they let run down during 2020 during the recession. Uh, they're now looking to restock. So it's kind of a, a double whammy in a lot of demand outlooks. If this is something you're facing right now, what can you do about it? There are actions you can take, but before that, you really need to identify what it is you're lacking. Maybe it's machinery, um, some new production line or, or some new machine that you should have already purchased and had installed ready to go today. Um, if that's the case, I, I would say don't wait. It's certainly uh, only going to get better. This recovery is only getting more and more robust as we proceed into 2021. But what if it isn't that? What if it's something like materials? Maybe you're unable to source the inputs that you need to, to fuel your production line. Well, this is a good time to be on, on good terms with your suppliers and, and certainly communicate with them. Know when you can get the pieces you need and make them aware of your orders as well. But it's not just the actual fulfillment, it's, it's things like shipping right now. Uh, while demand is certainly rebounding, the global shipping capacity hasn't quite made it back up to those pre-recession levels. So there will be delays. That's not going away anytime soon. Plan for it, expect slower shipping, especially globally, and uh, build that into your, your um, plans for this year. But maybe the thing you're lacking is something like labor. Um, we have certainly been talking a lot about the very tight labor market, but I heard a great uh, analogy from a client just the other day. He said, uh, I'm trying to hire someone and, and the role I need to fill is for an engineer. He said, trying to find an experienced engineer, an experienced hire with the skill set that he needs. Right now, it was akin to looking for a unicorn. And he said, I just can't find a unicorn. But what I can find is a golden retriever. That's someone who's young and friendly and eager and really critically, someone that you can train. So you might not be able to go out and hire the unicorn, but maybe you can hire that golden retriever and, and turn them into a unicorn yourself. But the next step, however you're dealing with these capacity issues, is to look ahead to the next business cycle. That's going to be critical now more than ever. You don't want to overshoot. As exciting as it is to be in a recovery phase A or even an accelerating growth phase B trend, you don't want to overshoot your capacity and be left on the other end of this cycle with more capacity than you will need. Now, we at ITR expect the overall U.S. industrial economy to surpass its pre-recession peak level sometime in mid-2022. But that's not going to be symmetrical across every sector and every industry. Um, some sectors like uh, food production, for example, or computers and electronics spending, um, many of those are either already at or will soon surpass their all-time peak levels. But other areas like auto production or, or mining, um, those just aren't going back to full strength anytime soon. And in fact, those are two of the sectors that we at ITR just don't expect to reach their pre-pandemic level during the, uh, the entire duration of our 12 quarter outlook. So it's important to know where you stand, where your industry stands. This is the time for company and industry specific forecast. Be sure that you're ready, you're not overshooting, but you are engaged for some of these good problems. Because good or bad, there are very few business problems that you can't solve with a little bit of data and a little quality economic intelligence. I'm Lauren Seidel Baker. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of ITR Economics Trends Talk. Let's talk more soon.